Hi, this is Jody Johnson with Action Coach Business Coaching in Miami, and here's another episode of Coffee with Jody. And in this video, I'm going to share with you about the impact of underperforming employees and the why, how, and what you can do about it. So first of all, let me tell you a story. We had pretty big crisis time crunch for a production that needed to get done. And the team was rallying around it. One of the employees who we hired about six months ago was just kind of slowly going through the motions. Everybody else was like this, like this, like this. And the manager was absolutely as frustrated and annoyed as he could possibly be. So we're looking at why is this employee who when we first hired him was great, he was bright, he was actually overeducated, which may be the starting place. He wasn't really right for the role. He had no experience in what it was that he was hired for, but he was good natured and we thought we'd give him a try. So when you look at this situation, how does it go from six months ago being great to now being somebody who's just going through the motions. As I mentioned, he was overqualified for the job. And although we can go into all kinds of things with him about, you know, if you really want to do better and you want to get promoted or you want to do something else in this business, the last thing you should do is underperform, but we can't make a difference with him directly. What we can do is look at what you as a business owner or manager can do about situations like this. So why? The first, as I said, hiring the wrong person for the wrong role. The second thing is, does he have clear expectations of the role? Have we made it crystal clear for him and given him the key performance indicators and targets. The next thing we can look at is, do we have a meeting rhythm where we can actually be assessing where things are and how he's doing related to the other people on the team? So you start to see, aside from the recruitment aspect, we also are looking at operations and what we as business owners have or don't have, as it were, in place in order to be telling somebody where they are in terms of our expectations. Then we can go back and we can look at what is the actual morale on the team? Is this guy being treated badly because he doesn't really know what he's doing and the rest of the people do and they're kind of annoyed with him and his all his questions? So that's kind of a form of, of people bullying the newest kid on the block rather than bringing him in and having them win. Additionally, what's our onboarding and training program? Have we looked at what is it that this person needs to know and created an actual plan of action to make sure that he got that. Then we can go and we can look at, okay, if we haven't done any of those things, how can we possibly expect him to be able to perform? We can't, it's not fair. If we put all of those things in and he still continues to underperform, then we've got to be prepared to take the action of letting him go because during this crunch time the morale on the rest of the team was awful. They were so annoyed that they were having to carry more than their own weight with his work that wasn't getting done and in the end yes the job got done but there was this ugh. So for you as an owner first thing to look at is even if we have a big strong immediate need Every time that we hire the wrong person into the wrong role, it will bite us on the ass, inevitably, every time. Secondly, make sure that that person has clear expectations of what they're to do in that job and how they're going to be measured. Make sure that we have an onboarding process and a training process and that we've indoctrinated them into the culture and made sure that they would have somebody who was going to be their champion and see to it that they won. So those are some things to consider outside of whether or not he should underperform or move like slow molasses or whatever. From our side, because it's always a leadership issue, what can we provide? 
What can we provide to make the difference in an underperforming employee? If you like this video, then like me on Facebook, share it, like subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let me know if you've had situations like this and how you resolved it, or if you'd like to ask me what my thoughts are about a particular incident, be sure to email me at Jody Johnson at actioncoach.com or call and make an appointment 305-984-2414 is my cell and the office is 305-285-9264. Thank you and have a great day.